collaboration with your competitors. Sorry. Introduce yourself, please. I'm speaking. Uh, <laughs> I'm here at a, a roundtable, a, a sustainability roundtable, and I'm speaking with Kevin, pronounce your last Mayette. name from Mayan, um, from REI. And we were, we were speaking about uh, sustainability as a team sport, and he made a statement here that I wanted to capture on tape, and that was... Uh, well, we were just talking about collaboration and how that, um, um, the, the, because the fact that in order to be able to make sincere progress in sustainability, there's only so much that an individual organization can accomplish on its own, and that really the, the collaboration is the key to success. Um, to be able to move forward, you need to learn how to work with not just your supply chain, but your competitors. And where um, something that is really important for intellectual property perspective, you need to protect that. But where it's really important to move the whole issue of sustainability forward, you need to collaborate. It's re and some, oftentimes it's like making the rules of the game. What's the platform from which we will innovate? And if everyone's creating different rules, then you sub-optimize the ability to move forward. So we need to collaborate on what is, how do we move forward? What are the rules of the game? So you were saying that um, yourselves, Patagonia, uh, a Canadian, uh, yeah, outdoor... NBC in Canada. But there's probably hundreds. I'm, I'm going to miss hundreds of companies that are a part of a collaborative effort. Are actually put aside um, competitive differences in order to come together around uh, improving sustainability practices. As if that's what and I understand. in our supply chain, and ultimately be able to look at our products and really understand their environmental impact. Wow! Thank you very much.